are you so afraid of? Do I have to draw you a picture? I'm not the one that made up the saying, you don't shit where you eat. Am I the shit or the food in this little painting of yours? Because if we're just a fling, then what difference does it make whether I work with you or not? I didn't say we're just a fling. Then, if there really is a chance for us, then why not go for both? Because I've seen what happens when things go south between partners. And I'm not willing to put my business in jeopardy. Your business? Yes. My business. The one that I have fought tooth and nail to keep together. The same business that you strolled into with a shotgun and said, marry me or I'll start shooting. Jess, if you want me to apologize for the way that I asked, then I will. But I don't ask for things that I don't want. And what I want is to work at Pearson Spectre and to keep seeing you. Those two things are not both going to happen. Then I guess you have to decide what's more important to you. What we have, or what you have. I can't say that it's never crossed my mind, but you really think it's a good idea? Jeff Malone. Well, he's not my type. You gotta be kidding me. Why didn't you tell me yesterday? Because I wasn't gonna hire him yesterday, so it was none of your business. But today I might. So now it is. And you want to know how I feel about it? You're my partner. Well, I already told you how I feel about hiring him. This doesn't change that. Good to know. Seems like something else is on your mind. He doesn't just want to work together. He wants us to keep seeing each other. And you don't want to risk the one to have the other? No, I don't. I've been there. I know. And you need to figure out which is more important. I guess I do. So you two have, um... Yes. So he's seen you naked? That's usually how these things work. Are you picturing me naked right now? Maybe. Yes. Go wash your hands. And don't spend too much time in that bathroom. Corner office. You really must like me. <laughs> don't get too excited. You know, the last two partners that had this office didn't survive the year. That's a good thing I'm much better than they were. You don't even know who they were. It doesn't matter, Jessica. I know who I am. Me too. A cocky lawyer in a corner office who hasn't done a thing for me yet. Yet. By the way, I understand it's tradition for the name partner to welcome a new partner with lunch. Jeff, when I told you that our relationship is now purely professional, I was serious. Jessica, what's not purely professional about lunch? Unless you mean the sex that'll be following lunch. You don't care about Logan Sanders at all, do you? No. This isn't a coincidental encounter, is it? No, it is not. You are having lunch with Jeff Malone today. Come on, Jessica, you banged him. The least he could do is take him to lunch. That is not funny. Wait a second. You want me to take him to lunch because you banged him? Harvey, I want you to go ahead and say banged to my face one more time. Okay. I'm not going to, but not because I'm scared of you. Whatever lets you sleep at night, white boy. I appreciate you letting me know about Lewis, but I'm not going to do that. Well, why not? Jeff Malone just got here. Because I said so. Now, if you'll excuse me. You're sleeping with him. What? Of course. That glow, the morning meetings, you had Harvey take your lunch. How could I miss it? I'm losing my edge. Donna, there's nothing going on between. You're not losing your edge. But I ended my relationship with Jeff Malone the day that I hired him. And I respect that. But you said you make decisions based on what's best for the firm. Isn't giving Lewis his dignity back good for the firm? I just wanted to thank you, you know, for the new office. It's a downgrade. Not to me. I also wanted to thank you for lunch. I didn't show up for lunch. I know. You thought you were sending me a message. I was sending you a message. Not the one you wanted, Jessica. You see, because what I heard is that you don't trust yourself around me. If I didn't, I want to put you right next door. Jessica, say what you will. But we both know where this is headed. 
you and me watching these. You think you know me that well? Well, if I don't, I'm about to. What happens on the court, Jessica, stays on the court. And I thought I was clear about boundaries. Well, listen, if that's really how you feel, why don't you just tell Lewis that you want to bow out because you don't trust yourself around me? Yeah, I didn't think so. Because Jessica and I were just having a little difference of opinion about what to do next. Yes, and I'm sure Lewis, the man that I hired, the man who owes his very career to me, will see things my way. Well, I don't want to step on anyone's toes. Oh, uh, Lewis, you're not stepping on anyone's toes here. Mm -hmm. And to be fair, I think you're an amazing attorney who doesn't owe anyone anything. Ooh. It was my first big case, so I decided that I would get some help going through the evidence. Just like this. The help screwed up. Dalton Foster walked. Six months later, he pulled the exact same scam. Only this time, the problem was one of his dying clients had a miraculous recovery. So one day, Dalton came up from behind her. And he beat her to death with an aluminum bat. So am I glad you're here, Jessica? Yes. Did I take advantage of Lewis? Absolutely. I may play games to get us together, but I never play games with a case. Never. That you just don't want to understand. No, I don't. I am the only woman partner at this level in the city. If word got out that I hired a partner that I was in relationship with... What, you'd be disbarred? You think this is a joke? I think you're making excuses for keeping me out of your life, Jessica, and I'm calling you on it. Oh, what the hell is that supposed to mean? It means that I'm making you a promise, all right? That no one, no one will ever find out about us. So if that's what you're really afraid of, if that's what's truly holding you back, then it is off the table. I'm sorry. Your job isn't to worry about what I told Harvey. Your job is to worry about what I'm telling you. And what I'm telling you is that I'm not walking into an SEC negotiation with a babysitter. Negotiation? This is going to be a war. I know that. And I'm going to win it with one shot. And I suggest you warm up to this. You're not walking into the SEC with a babysitter. You're walking in there with a bazooka. Oh, you, you, you didn't tell her. That's awkward. I'll see you in court. Jessica! I don't want to hear it. Well, you need to hear it. What? That you lied to me? You know, I didn't actually lie to you. Oh, no, what? no, no. You tell me that you didn't lie because we never directly asked you the question and I will knock your head off. All right, fine. I lied. I lied because it doesn't matter. I want to fight for you and I'm the best man to do it. Well, the new part of the equation is that you just made me look like a fool. Jess. Don't pull that Jess shit with me. I want to know what it says in your file. I don't know what it says. How the hell do you not know? Because whatever it is is bullshit. Because the reason they were going to fire me is that I refused to go after you. Then why didn't you tell me that when you came at us demanding a job? Because good lawyers negotiate from a position of strength, not weakness. Well, the position you just put us in is pretty goddamn weak. So what exactly am I getting out of this? You get to save face. I do like my face. However, I also like my ass, which would be on the line if I take this deal. Then you have 24 hours to decide which one you like more. Jessica, I'm sorry that I didn't come clean with you before. Me too. Lying to you was a business decision and it was wrong. But I want you to know that I would never lie to you, man or woman. I appreciate that. We have a problem. I just got off the phone with Richard Coleman. Last week, Sean Cahill asked him if I'd ever cross any lines in his presence. Son of a bitch. He doesn't want our clients to leave us. He wants them to cough up dirt on me. At least none of them did, or we'd be in trouble right now. How do you want to handle it? Let's talk about it tomorrow. Right now, I got something else to do. Shit. They wouldn't turn on Hardy. Cahill wanted us to drop those cases anyway, and I just did him a big favor. You couldn't have known that. It was my job to know that.